Hello everyone, my name is Lori Anderson, host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio broadcast on RBN Network and contributor for FreedomOutpost.com. I wanted to let you know, as many of you already do, President-elect Donald Trump is now President of the United States of America. He was sworn in earlier today. And with that information, I wanted to bring to you some more breaking news that already things are changing in Washington. The Climate Depot is reporting that all references to climate change have been deleted from the White House website at noon today. At 11.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the official White House website had a lengthy information page about the threat of climate change and the steps the federal government had taken to fight it. At noon, at the instant Donald Trump took office, the page was gone, as well as any mention of climate change or global warming. Washington, D.C., a climate of change, perhaps the most stark contrast between the Obama administration and the Trump administration, is on global warming. The climate differences were visible today as the White House website was scrubbed of all references of climate change. At exactly noon today, just as President Donald Trump was sworn in, Climate Depot statement, quote, Climate skeptics are thrilled that one of the very first visible changes of the transition of power between President Don Obama and President Trump is the booting of climate change from the White House website. Trump is truly going to make science great again and reject the notion that humans are the control knob of the climate and UN treaties and EPA regulations can somehow regulate temperature and storminess. Welcome to the era of sound science. Also note, skeptical film, Climate Hustle, now available as streaming video on demand to Greek Gore's sequel. Meteorologist and Weather Channel, Channel founder John Coleman had one word to describe the White House climate website changes. Hooray! Coleman, a climate skeptic, tweeted, also see the Weather Channel founder Gore's a, quote, an inconvenient sequel will be another scientific monstrosity, unquote. Via MotherboardVice.com, all references to climate change have been deleted from the White House website. Written by Joseph Jason Colbert. At 11.59 Eastern Standard Time, the official White House website had a lengthy information page about the threat of climate change and the steps the federal government had taken to fight it. At noon, at the instant Donald Trump took office, the page was gone, as well as any mention of climate change or global warming. It's customary for the WhiteHouse.gov to flip over to the new administration exactly at noon. But the only mention of climate on President Trump's new website is under America First Energy Plan page, in which he vows to destroy President Obama's Climate Action Plan, which is a government-wide plan to reduce carbon emissions and address climate change. President Trump is committed to eliminating harmful and unnecessary policies, such as the Climate Action Plan and the Waters of the U.S. rule. The site says, a search of the website found no mention of global warming, and the only mentions of climate change were achieved archived pages that, after clicking on the links, led to scrubbed pages. Here's what President Obama's climate change page looked like this morning. And here is what it looks like now. Here is the newest update. With the White House climate change page now removed, a pledge to increase drilling has been added as part of an American First Energy program. Suzanne Goldenberg tweeted, It started. Trump took down the White House climate change page and put up a pledge to drill lots of oil. An American First Energy plan, energy is an essential part of American life and a staple of the world economy. The Trump administration is committed to energy policies that lower costs for hardworking Americans 
and maximize the use of American resources, freeing us from dependence on foreign oil. For too long, we've been held back by burdensome regulations on our energy industry. President Trump is committed to eliminating harmful and unnecessary policies such as Climate Action Plan and the Waters of the U.S. Rule. Lifting these restrictions will greatly help American workers, increasing wages by more than $30 billion over the next seven years. Related links are, of course, available below. So, I am actually really glad to hear about this because the federal government has used this on many occasions in order to put people in jail for the Waters Act of the U.S. rule. Individuals who have simply dug ponds on their own property to help with the environment, to help have more fish, to help give water to whether it be their livestock or wild animals. And the federal government, if you will, has used it in order to steal lands and control the people's resources on their private property. Yes, sir, it looks like a new day is truly coming about. And until next time, thank you. God bless you. Semper Fi Delis. And as always, watch your backs and check your facts. God bless you and good night.